The industry has changed. Where do they still need people? Welcome to Conversations About Mining. Hi, Jess. How are you? Yeah, great, Andrew. How are you going? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Um, we were just talking about this off air, that the industry really has been turned on its head in the last six months with everything that's happened. Um, but the good news is that there still are places that they absolutely positively need new starters. The bad news is that most of the places, the new starters that are looking for jobs are where the jobs were six to 12 months ago and there aren't really that many jobs anymore. Um, so the big yeah. one is shutdown work. And I know you've had a lot of people come at you about um, shutdown work lately. And I was saying so to many. you that I thought it sort of halved and you even said it has gone down by as much as two thirds, you thought. I think so. I really think so. Um, even all my like other friends that work for bigger recruitment companies or do recruitment as well, like usually they are just desperate. Like usually if someone comes through <clears throat> and gets a resume done or, you know, wants to get into so that's what they want to do is usually it's people that are overseas and maybe their qualifications aren't recognised here. So they just want a foot in the door to make a bit of money and, um, you know, get their qualifications sorted out down the track. Um, and, yeah, just there are zero jobs, no matter how experienced or qualified. And I've even now got quite a massive number of people that have been on shutdown circuits for the last, you know, three, five, seven years. Um, that just can't get any work like you know everyone's just like oh no you know we might have something in two or three weeks so we might have something soon like whereas before it was like you know you could basically guarantee if you wanted to work six months straight you could and it's just not like that at the moment um, so people are having to look elsewhere yeah and it, it's the downturn in lithium the downturn in nickel nickel west shutting down um, the coal price being so low, the iron ore price, it's gone back up again, but there's a couple of big iron ore mines shut down, which has hurt everything. And the less mines that are yeah. operating, the less shut down people that they need around the place doing it all. But the good news yeah. is that there's still two places in the industry that are just crazily need people. And that's the hard rock yeah. underground and surface exploration. So they're the two yep. places, if you go on to seek and you type underground in or you type offsider in, you'll see all the jobs pop up at you everywhere. Um, the last job hunt video that I did, I actually put mining truck in um, just to have a look and just show people what it was like. And like I said on that video, 12 months ago or 18 months ago, that would have been filled with surface truck driving jobs in coal mines and nickel mines and lithium mines around the country. Now, when you put that in, the, we will, most of the jobs on that front page were all underground jobs, underground truck jobs. Yep. There were very few yep. surface truck jobs. Um, and the ones that were were sort of paying like $90,000 a year for an even time roster, which shows you, you know, yep. where it is at the moment. Um, yeah, it's just, it'll change again. Like that's mining, things change. Um, gold's going through a really strong period, so is copper. Um, that's why there's all the underground jobs and the surface exploration jobs, but lithium and nickel are going through a downturn. So people from yep. those mine sites have already been redeployed or are being currently redeployed. Um, but there'll be a lot of people that just leave the industry. There'll be a lot of people from Nickel West that'll have done 15 or 20 or 30 years with them that'll just get a huge redundancy and that'll be the last job that they ever have. And so yep. they'll, those sort of people are hard to replace in the industry. So yeah, it is what it is. But if you're looking for shutdown work or you're looking for a, a traineeship on a dump truck on the surface or anything like that, you know, that ship sort of um, sailed at the moment and you need to be concentrating yeah. on the hard rock underground or the surface exploration. Yeah, 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 agree. Yeah, definitely you need to change tactics and change areas you're looking in because um, you're not you're not just not going to get any results. It's not going to be a fun time for you. You're going to um, quickly find that there's A, there's not any roles out there to apply for and B, when you are applying, you're probably going to have a lot of experienced operators that are going to be applying along with you. So the chances of getting one of those roles and there's really no entry level roles at the moment not for you know dump truck traineeships or surface dump truck operators um so you'd really be just yeah even if you were experienced you're going to struggle to get into one of those roles if that's what you're looking to do and we were just talking about another i was letting you know about something i saw on the news two nights ago with channel seven with west track yeah. they've just expanded yeah. or they're currently expanding their driverless truck training network so they're expanding they're going from one training room to five training rooms or something like that they're, yeah. they're expanding it by five times the amount that they're doing at the moment and that for me is the writing on the wall for all the surface truck driving stuff it, it, they'll only be able to do it in the shallow pits 
Um, you say the really deep pits, they'll still need people to drive, but those really deep pits will be few and far between because most yeah. pits, when they get down to about 250 metres, they turn into underground mines because it's cheaper to go underground than it is to do a really big pit yeah. unless you've got a really wide ore body like the super pit where the ore body is 12 yeah. metres wide. Um, if the ore body is only yeah. you know, three, three metres wide, then it's much cheaper to do it do it underground um, when you get down to that level. So, yeah, so that's something else that you need to keep into consideration is that if you do go for the surface job and you do go with the driverless trucks, that doesn't pay very much anymore. The people that I know that have gone into no. that type of work, you're lucky to make eighty to $90,000 a year doing that sort of yep. stuff. Most people are starting on a lot less than that, whereas with the actual underground and um, the drillers offsiders where you've got to be out on site, um, yeah, you're getting paid a lot more than that and um, the money goes up quite quickly when you go up through the crew ranks. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I guess the moral of the story is you need to be looking in different places. So if you're out there and you're just following along what Facebook groups have told you or, you know, what you thought you should do a year or so ago when you first started thinking about getting into it, um, industry has completely changed around and done a 180. So definitely reach out if you have any questions about that or you're unsure about what your skill set maybe matches or what, you know, types of roles you could maybe look at. Um, but definitely have a look at underground. Um, that's where it's at at the moment and gold and copper. Um, yep. That's what you want to be looking at right now. And you can do our three-step plan that we've got together. Jess will do your resume. Yep. The training's there. I'm almost always available for questions um, if you've got any, but the training's pretty self-explanatory. It goes into a lot of detail. Yep. And, you know, when you can walk through the door on day one and you can talk to them about how it all works, like I tell people, it puts you six to eight weeks ahead of everybody else that is there interviewing. And as long as you get the mining questions right and you've studied, then, you know, it's like they find a hundred dollar note on the ground. Um, if yeah. you know, the only caveat to that is that if you don't study properly and you get the mining questions wrong, then they'll move on to the next person. But, you know, if you study yeah. and do the right thing and follow the instructions, yeah, it's like Daniel last week when he got his job. We got we sent his resume to him the night before. He sent his resume out that morning. He had a job offer that afternoon and it was in, you know, yeah. they wanted to know when he could do medicals and all that sort of stuff. And yeah. yeah, it was a really good result for him. Yeah, awesome. Yep. Cool. All right. So if you've got any questions about how the industry works, please send them through. Um, the easiest way to get a job is to go where the work is and to give them what they want. And um, yeah, if you could share the video around and like and subscribe the channel. Thanks. Thanks.